Yes, cars, one eight and one nine, will operate on random patrol, covering the West End and financial districts. Your radios will be tuned to Channel D, and I expect immediate alert at any sign of trouble in your areas. The remainder of the S cars will patrol the regularly assigned areas, keeping Channel D open at all times. Final briefing will be at 1800 hours. Dismiss. Most impressive, Mr. Lang. I, I had no idea. Of course you hadn't. Security is our business, Mr. Adamant. There's no point in trotting around like glorified traffic wardens. Indeed not. No. Every man on our strength is a highly trained, highly disciplined fighting machine. But a private army? In a private war. These are vicious days, Adamant. Commercial interests subjected to espionage, intimidation, extortion, assault, robbery. We'll fight. If necessary, kill. But surely, if, you, uh, if you're not allowed to carry arms... We don't need arms, just hands. Hands? Come, my friend. I will show you. No, please. You watch. The breathing. It is very important. Ow! You see? The breathing is most important. Well, not, it seems, for the dummy. <laughs> if you see what I mean. <laughs> if it was a man, he would be dead. Mm, unless, of course, he had the foresight to move out of the way. McClough, this is Adam Adamant. At the moment, a guest, but perhaps soon a colleague. Have you done the karate? Mm? Uh, no. No, I've never had the inclination. I've always found that the art of fisticuffs has served me quite well. Fisticuffs? Yes. Yeah. Boxing man. Fists! I should be careful with McClough if I were you. He's really quite deadly. Trains all our men. Now you try it. You know, I think not. I find it highly unlikely that I shall ever be attacked by a piece of board. Don't think. In here, Mr. Edmund, is our broadest position. The crime computer. Remarkable. Not only can we analyze security systems, we can predict the probability of an actual crime. To what end? Prevention, of course. But allow me to introduce Miss Sandra Vero in charge of the computer. Miss Vero, this is Mr. Edmund. Your servant, madam. How do you do? Mr. Adamant is studying modern security methods. Perhaps he would like uh, a demonstration. Well, I should be delighted. Mm -hmm. Delighted. I shall be in the operations room then. Well, this is one of the more advanced self-programming computers. Mm. Apart from the basic information stored in its memory tapes, it is constantly no. collecting new information on crimes and security. Even our conversation is being monitored, assessed, and then filed for future reference. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I, I find it all quite baffling. Sir, the animate situation is confusing some of the men. Confuse? Why should my orders confuse? The security precaution, sir. You said yourself no one was to be allowed to Are go in. Are you questioning my judgment? Oh, no, sir. But he has a certain reputation. And a reputation for being old-fashioned, out of touch, insufficiently and stupidly courageous. None of these qualities concerns or confuses me. You will instruct the men to give Adamant every freedom. He says he is interested in modern methods. Well, let him look. Let him see that my organization is the ultimate in efficiency. Let him play. Sir! <laughs> Well, 
Well, it's really quite simple. At any time of the day or night, the computer can predict the probability of a crime involving one of our clients. You know, I find it rather sad that a mere machine can foresee our destiny. Tell me this, Miss Bell. Are we all so predictable? I should think the computer would find it difficult to predict your actions, Mr. Adamant. I sincerely hope so, ma'am. Unless, of course, we had more information. On your motive for being here, for instance. It seems unlikely that it is purely academic. Certainly not. Now that I've seen some of your operation, I think I can say in confidence that I'm here to inspect your organization. By whom were you asked? A group of bankers have decided to supplement their security organization with a service such as yours. The question is, of course, are you the best? We think so. However, if someone like yourself were to join us, give us the benefit of your experience, your, uh, your knowledge of criminals. I don't think I could compete with your electronic guardian. Then don't compete, Mr. Adamant. Unite. It's an interesting proposition. Would I be able to make use of your computer? In any way you wish. Correct, Miss Denham? Certainly. But you've hardly set it a challenge so far, Mr. Adamant. <laughs> true, true. Perhaps I should be a little more specific. Anything at all. Subject, robbery, time, night, place, London, item, jewellery, firm, Jade, Parker, and with it. I think your computer might. You see, that firm was the subject of a robbery only last night. Remarkable. A complete list of the firm's security arrangements. Well, why not? All our clients file full details with us. So Jade, Parker and Withy are your clients? That would appear to be obvious, Mr. Adamant. Miss Farrell, I'm sure that our guest would wish to see how the information is received. Of course. This way, Mr. Adamant. Thank you. Thank you very much. Request analysis and recommendations. Subject Adam Adamant. What's a question? Get rid of him! Leave this man alone. 